So we have a good brother, a good friend, Alexi Lubban. Uh, I know some of you guys are familiar with that last name, but uh, I'll let him uh, tell the story of the the last name, I guess, just a brief history. Brief history. Yeah. So I am the uh, great grandson of uh, General Vicente Lubban. And the, uh, the Lubban clan uh, came from the town of Lubban in, uh, back then it was called Tayabas, now it's called Quezon. Quezon, right. So yeah. the, the history of the name, people ask me, hey, where, where do you guys get the name? Correct. So the history of the name, uh, you guys might be called the Claverier Decree. Um, and I think that was in 1862. Around there, you could probably correct me. Uh, and and there was a decree that the Spaniards put together, and they were asking because you know back then the, the names were patrimonial, so meaning Peter, son of John, you know. So yeah. they, they, nobody had last names. So yeah, when yeah, you go yeah. to the, all the small towns, that's the way people sometimes were called. So so if you're from the one town. That's your last name? No, not thing, necessarily. Or? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. But they, they, they wanted to standardize everything, you know, okay. uh, so that they could keep track. It's more sensitive, so they could tax people. Oh, it's catchy. Yeah. yeah. So, for that so purposes, that would make sense. For that purposes, yeah. yeah. So yeah. people, like, some people didn't have last names. Got it. So when you go like remotely, people, so they wanted to standardize. That's why, hence, we have Spanish last names. So, so there was a uh, book called the Alphabetic, Alphabetical yeah. Catalogica, something like that. Yeah. yeah. And, and what happened is it's, it's a, a book of last names that, that you chose from for your I have seen, I have seen that book uh, mentioned. Mm -hmm. Somebody mentioned it to me either on the internet or on Instagram. It's like, hey, you got to check out this, this book because like you said, it tells the last name. It tells the last name. And, and, and so uh, what, what they did, for example, if you were for a certain town, you would, they would choose the the first letter, like the letter of okay. Everybody from this town needs to pick from the letter B. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you know that. No, so, no, so no. In, in in the town of Bukban, they chose the letter L. Is there a reason why L? That I don't know. <laughs> that I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So the the father of Vicente Bukban, because our our old last name was San Miguel. Old last name San Miguel. San Miguel. So, yeah. so there, were, there were a few things that 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 also the how do you say the uh, the criteria for having a change in the number one, you can have a last name. Yeah. Number two, if you had a saint, they were, they were trying to discourage people from using saints as last name. The other one was if you had a name of, of uh, noble people from Spain, because what they don't want to do is they didn't want the Indios or people who were born there to all of a sudden have a claim to throne wow so, so how did they inherit that last name before well so some people like for example like our 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 last name san miguel uh -huh. we don't really know uh there's when, when we look at the history of uh uh the town of Lupan, you know there were some spaniards who came in there and i think one of the alcaldes or governor silio last name was san miguel. san miguel so it was traditional that if you were um, if you were your godfather, um, you know, if you're your god, so basically if you're godfather, you would ad adapt the last name. Okay. So what, what we're thinking is that one of the godparents was a higher up Spaniard and took the last name San Miguel and hence it kind of carried through. Just carried through, yeah. Carried through. So the, that's on the one side. Um, so my great, great grandfather, Agustin San Miguel, Sorry, Agustin Bukman de San Miguel. He was originally San Miguel, and he was at the Tran. Okay. And when he was at the Tran, his teacher goes, and you know the whole Claveria decree came out, and they, they asked. So so the the school the Tran has been around for a while. Oh, for yeah, yeah, for a long time. Yeah. So you know they were, they put up this decree, and and it was suggested to him when he was a student where, what is Bukman? So it's like, good idea. So who, who suggested that? Well, he's the, the, or of course, his teacher. His teacher. The teacher of my great great grandfather. Okay. Kid. So, uh, so what what happens is so so now okay so he was the very very first class. So 
it started there. So he he's the original plot. Original plot. Yeah. yeah. So you know, then then you see a lot of people where over the years they they you know obviously the, the clan got bigger. So we kept up the tradition because we we part of our Chinese roots. So we when we had the migrant families coming to Tayabas and they would convert or or uh, you know get the baptism. So whenever it was somebody from the family, they would adopt our last name. Gotcha. That's why you see a lot of Chinese. Look, look, man. Yeah. Um, 